Hi guys, welcome back to Empower In. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel and welcome to Motivation Monday. In this Motivation Monday, I wanted to express to you just how important it is to develop an attitude of gratitude. If you don't already have an attitude of gratitude, don't worry, it's really easy to develop. And if you had it at one point and you lost it, it's super easy to get it back. You know, I don't talk a lot about my story prior to becoming a nurse, but I will share with you a little, um, bit and piece here. So before I started nursing school, I was in a little bit of debt and it was really stressful for me because I didn't really see a long-term solution. I mean, yes, I could work at the same restaurant that I was working at and it would take me a few years to pay it off, but then what? And so I wanted to pursue nursing school because I felt like that was a more long-term solution. But having that stress over me really took away a lot of my energy and it, it was really difficult for me to find things that I could be grateful for. Stress or no stress though, I really took it upon myself to wake up every single morning and write a list of five things that I was grateful for. And what I found was that this, this writing down the five things that I was grateful for actually just kind of set the tone of how the day was going to go. And as the day would progress, I would find a lot more things that I was grateful for. And having more things that I was grateful for was also helping me take on challenges or stressful experiences in a different way because ultimately I had a feeling that everything was going to be okay and it was <laughs> the way I feel about it is this you know life is gonna happen one way or another we're going to have experiences that we like experiences that we don't like we're gonna have periods where we have a lot of growth we're gonna have periods where we have plateaus and absolutely no growth so why not feel good during the time why not feel good all the time and feeling good is really just a matter of just switching something in your brain and one of the easiest ways to switch and one of the easiest ways to make that switch which is to immediately focus on things around you that you're grateful for. I honestly started off really small. I would say things like, I'm grateful for the table that I have to write on. I'm grateful for the cell phone that I have. I'm grateful for the food that I do have to eat, even though I was on a shoestring budget, you know, college, poor college student. But I was really grateful for absolutely everything that I had, and I really felt it. I really felt the feelings of intense gratitude. And I think it made a big difference because because now I get to eat pretty much, you know, all organic food. I get juice. I have an amazing husband. I live in a wonderful condo. You know, everything in my life is really, I have a lot more to be grateful for. And I think it's because I was grateful for the small things that I had. So I want you to take this opportunity to notice the small things around you that you're extremely grateful for and really feel that feelings of love and gratitude. So, all right, guys, I hope this starts you off with a great week and I cannot wait to see you next week. I love you so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like like you. Many say it's a must read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.